Welcome sa ako ang channel. Tara, studio ta. Welcome back to my channel. Salamat sa ang kapatid sa pagkakaroon sa akong first vlog. Hindi man to libo, 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 thousand, thousand. Super I'm happy with the private messages sa mga friends. They are worth all. They are worth of encouragement. Now, what do we have for the day? So, trending today itong message o definition ni DJ Lunio, if you know him, yung dancer na sikat kayo sa mga kapatanaunan, kayo maayaw, kayo masayaw, no? Trending kayo ang iyang mass testing message. So, ito mo, discussion niya sa iyang amigo, sort of that. But, ang atong topic is actually not si DJ Lunio, kundi li ang impact sa iyang gibuhat sa broader topic na ito kayo skutan, which is ang self- awareness. Nindot kay atong ano, nindot kay na example no, no sorry sir. Dili nindot ani tabo saya no kay he was bash pero nindot kay nga example na atong karahapon for self awareness ang experience na to no, a particular situation with DJ Lunio. Let's to take it slowly, especially sa mga bata so. DJ Lunio speaking in uh as this being idolized, if that's the correct term, sa mga kabataan unan, no, inspired sila because of his dancers. On the other hand, foul ganina because people just don't understand or don't agree with the take of DJ Lunyo sa uh, mass testing. So what does it mean? So let's take it in the context of self-awareness. One, if we put ourselves into sa, sa, sa kay DJ Lunyo, we would say na, ah, no? Ang self-awareness ni DJ Lunyo is basically on the context of maayos siya nga dancer. Got millions of fans because of that. It's being admired by a lot of young, young people. And then for young people, this is actually the message for you. No? To get that inspiration by being self-aware of what motivates you to be good and why you are doing that one. What is it for you? What really would you like to attain in the future and focus on that self-awareness focus on that focus on that perhaps gusto rin niya ma-explore something something else pero once you want it you already excel and you already master which is the second part of self-awareness and understanding yourself master that and you wanted to move to another by doing another thing that's what we call risk taking behavior which DJ Lunyo did no? like risk taking behavior so yeah. by doing something that he is he does he is not actually excellent or dili niya to 40 so you guys as young people by taking is it's okay no? it's okay to take risk that's very bold of you to to do that and we as adults should be able to appreciate that and guide that now, where will your role lies, which is second part of self-awareness, which is how would you able to appreciate or contextualize or to filter feedback? Unfortunately, in social media, it's gonna be, gonna be very, very challenging for you, if not difficult, challenging is the term, to filter constructive feedback because many of which may be messages of hate. Kasuko lang. Lagot lang sa lanin mo, sa laganahin mo. Not necessarily constructive feedback. Which is a difficult part and journey for self-awareness. But it's important for you to be able to understand why it's important to get feedback. And you use your feedback actually not to correct the mistakes of the past because even that you correct na you, 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 we, are, we are going to use feedback to improve for future yeah? so if we put ourselves in the shoes of DJ Lunyo and Gibash even say among our fans because of that we're going to take it up maybe next time 
if you wanted to do new things, maybe mix it with your, for example, with dance, and then wisdom. Diba? Then gain control out of that. Third, after you get your feedback, and you know, your motivation, and you already understand your mastery, etc. It's now to really plan for strategizing your self-awareness strategies. How do you do this? Diba? Ang pinaka-simple, Ana, which I know young people do, is kanang pirmi na itong madumog. We often hear them say, kalma lang, no? Kanang, you know, magaling, no? Diba? Kalma lang is kind of like a very simple two words by, by young people. It's actually part of strategy for self-awareness. Putting it in deeper context, just when we say we manage well our emotions. Diba? Manage well your emotions. Relax, take a deep breath, reflect, and before you can fight back. Or maybe, no need for you to comment back. It's been done. Move on, do better in the near future. Related to strategy for self-awareness and being able to face people who may disagree with us. Remember, maayo kayo siyang a dancer, millions of fans and followers. Just by a click of doing, commenting on masters thing, you know, the bashing and the hated moves up. So for young people who may be very, very good, and you guys are very, very excellent, I saw you guys dancing, singing, you know, playing, painting, even making fun, you know, jokes, etc. One click of a mistake in social media. How do you manage that? The best way to, to do that, aside from managing your emotions, is also what we call managing your stresses. So what is it? We have two types of stresses. Right? We have our physical stress and psychological stress. Ako, for example, my physical stress because I have a cervical spondylosis. To me. So every time I'm tired or I'm already physically, uh, mentally stressed, either magsakit akong abaga, magsakit akong ulo, or yung makasa mong magkurugtan. That's physical stress. The other one is our psychological stress. Or sometimes, you know, because it's so difficult technically and scientifically to understand psychological stress, let's put it in simpler manner. Change of mood, over the kagana, mairita ka, and you couldn't longer, you know, uh, complete your, your task. So having said that, this is the second part of strategizing for self-awareness. Now, this is the hard question that we need to reflect under new normal. Because the new normal would mean lesser public appearance, social distancing, etc. For young people like you guys who've been constantly in public, the challenge for you is to find your niche in the context of new normal environment. And I said yesterday already, that's connected to what I said yesterday about focusing on fewer people and maximizing positively social media. Okay, so that's the first part on self-awareness. Let's connect that one to understanding yourself no? and being able to find very, very good influencers and mga maayong na inspiration you can find in social media. There are four types that actually I'm trying to I try to think of who are these uh, influencers that you can follow. Unfortunately, I am certain no one of them, especially for you young people, you uh, adolescents and the youth, has this one. But even me as adult, you know, look at that. Now you know, para for sanity purposes, find. In social media, sometimes the random, random nga kwan, di ba? Random, random nga uh, browsing for videos that can inspire you. Social media influencers characteristics. One, you can find, you can look at someone who just make you laugh every day. 
just for the sake of it, for laughing purposes. You laugh, you know, you laugh and laugh more. Because remember, laughter is always the best medicine, di ba? Two, you find someone in social media, another influencer who can inspire you do best from your talent. Kung kaboka mo kanta, look for a social influencer na be- kanta. Sayaw, painting, cook ka, magluto ka mga pagkaon, that's baking, di ba? The second. The third one is to look someone who inspires you in social media as your influencer that will going to give you more wisdom. Wisdom. It can be, you know, these are not light things. You know, the, the, the one that you learn not in a lighter manner. That they, they, oh, they all come from different types of experiences. And basically, wisdom in a simpler term may be defined as maybe somebody who will always give you lessons of their own experiences that you can actually reflect and say, and magka, aha, moment ka, aha, tama doon, no? Maybe I'm like that today. And maybe I'm like that in the in the future. So guys, that's the news. For me, that's kind of like the blended approach, if you will, on self-awareness under new normal that you guys, our young people, our next generation can actually look at, reflect, and maybe emulate in the future. Salamat kayo sa inyong pagtanaw. Kita-kits kanunay. Maayong adyo. Bye. 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 Bye.